This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. A murder suspect is dead and an officer injured after a pursuit ended in a shootout. It happened early Monday morning in Escondido. Police there say that the officer spotted a truck, which they say was involved in a fatal shooting outside a home in Vista. The driver leading police on a pursuit for several hours, even after the truck had its tires blown out by spike strips. Now, police worked with OnStar to finally get that truck to stop. And that's when the shootout happened. The suspect taken to the hospital where he died. An investigation is underway after two people were discovered inside a burned car in Chula Vista. Chula Vista police say their bodies were discovered after firefighters responded to a brush fire on Olympic Parkway near Brandywine. Firefighters then realized the brush fire was caused by a car that had crashed and gone into a ditch. When firefighters put out those flames, they found the two people dead inside. Negotiations will continue this week between sanitation workers and Republic Services. Workers have been on strike for over a week now and trash is piling up across the county. Republic Services and Teamsters 542, they met with city officials on Friday, but the session ended with no change in status. Republic Services asking customers affected by the strike to continue putting out their garbage cans on their regular collection days. Turn our attention to our weather now. Rather chilly morning. Oh, chilly indeed, Jim. Yeah, we're waking up about 8 to 12 degrees cooler than the same time yesterday in a lot of areas. It's all thanks to this Arctic air that's cruising into our county, and it will continue to pretty much uh, prevail as we look ahead to the next 48 hours or so. Right now, we are dealing with dry conditions, but do we, we do have shower activity on the way as early as this afternoon. Scattered showers, again, will... Uh, prevail through the evening time. We'll see uh, as far as accumulation goes up to an inch along the coast and inland valleys and in the mountains. We have a wind advisory with a westerly winds sustained of about 20 to 35 gusting close to 60 plus at times and the mountain snow. We could see up to an inch in the higher elevation you go. We're talking about 6500 or feet or so is we'll, where we'll get the most snow. That snow level dipping anywhere from 35 to 4000 feet later on today. Today's highs are going to top out in the mid to upper 50s along the coast low 50s inland mid 30s through the mountain areas and mid to upper 50s in the deserts. Jim. Vanessa, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.